he is our table so uh, we've been asked to draw a board that show the monthly payment the payment of interest and the payment of principal uh, where would you compute the monthly payment this amount will be constant for all the 360 period so it was 733.79 we got this amount for all the 360 months that's been 30 years this will never change hey, as we can see when we just have the mortgage at, the, at zero point we don't have any payment on the interest any payment on the interest but any monthly payment so the remaining balance is just hundred thousand after one month we pay seven hundred thirty three point seventy nine that's the monthly payment so the when we pay this a month we should understand this a month there is two power inside of it the monthly payment the monthly payment is made of two power power of this a month will be paid in the form of interest power of it will be paid in the form of principle so if we have 660.7 plus 60.67.09 point if we add those value together we're going to have 730 733.79 so that's mean the monthly payment is made of payment of principal payment of interest we see for the first month most of this value will be paid in the form of interest that means when you start paying your mortgage most of the power you paying is in the form of interest few of it will be paid in the form of principal you should understand this better so the remaining balance here since we already pay one month one month so 100,000 minus one month give us the remaining balance this remaining balance what is it this is the present value of the mortgage after one month the present value of the mortgage after one month this is the present value of the mortgage for 369 period you understand so the the present value of the mortgage after one month is the present value of the mortgage for a period of 369 months since we will spend one month okay we can try to detail to we can try to get this value using excel the present value that's in for whatever the period we can try to figure out the remaining balance let's try to determine the present value of the remaining balance after one month that's mean for 369 period let's do it together let's try to do it so let's go over there so what we're trying to do we want to we are here the present value for 269 period so let's go to the home page formula and we click on financial we can use also insert functions we can go directly and tap it it's possible we can tap present value here so let's tap present value we tap PV now uh, we, we first of all we tap equal we tap PV present value and then parentheses this is the weight we click on weight the weight this is this value the weight and then we put number of period this is the number of period the number of period after one month we're gonna try after one month the number of period will be 300 69 more this is the number of period the number of period okay we got the number of period uh, okay the number of period the payment we put the payment the payment this the, the, the payment will always remain constant never change this is the payment this is the payment and then the future value which is zero the type which is zero and then 
the last parenthesis and then we press enter oh hold on just there is a mistake uh, what is it so oh, I guess it is because it is because the the payment should be negative the payment the payment should be negative payment that's why you don't get it why okay. can we got it but it was a uh, let me check form of the cell alignment numbers currency let's put in numbers yeah okay here it is so we got exactly the same value this is the the present value so we can make this for whatever the period whatever the period let's try to figure out the so you you, you will understand that a uh, if we want to determine the payment on principle of this this will be a product of the remaining balance time for our interest so for this one you see this is a product of the remaining balance time interest that the same for this one also this one is also the product of the remaining balance time for our interest once we get the interest once we get the interest to get the payment of principal is the monthly payment minus the interest give us the payment on principal it's the same okay let's do it for the after 100 month after 100 month after 100 month it's going to be 360 minus minus uh, 360 minus my mi uh, minus 100 so it's going to be 260 period okay 260 period so let's say I want to compute the present value uh, after a hundred month. That means for 260 period. So the same. I go to financial, and I'm gonna click. I'm trying to see the present value. Present value. I got the present value. I put it. This is the weight. The weight is on monthly weight okay this is the number of period number of period is going to be 260 260 the payment the payment remember the size is important that's why we had this problem the payment it's negative the payment and then the future value the future value is zero and then the type the type is also zero oh, this give us exactly there it is we got ninety thousand five hundred sixty nine so that give us the remaining balance there it is this is the remaining balance this is the remaining balance after hundred months that's mean the remaining balance for two hundred sixty period that's the remaining balance once we get this remaining balance it's possible to determine the payment that we paid on principal it will be a product of remaining balance time for our interest let's try to give give it we can try let's put equal and product 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 that's the remaining balance remaining balance by interest by interest and then enter there it is this give us the the interest the interest that's mean we got the ent the interest since we have the remaining balance after one month so this is going to give us the interest if we want to know the payment principle the payment and principle here 
gonna be equal pay is gonna be the monthly payment minus interest that's it so this give us what we pay for principal so it's possible to determine also the 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 payment of principal for 100 months we will need to compute the the present value for 400 hey, this is 90 99 month so to determine so whatever the period let's say I want to know the payment I will pay on the principal and interest you know just for the for the for the hundred month what should I need I will need the the present value after 99 month the same is going to be 360 minus 99 period that we have the present value once I have the present value, the interest is going to be this present value type for the interest. This is going to give me the this is going to be give me the payment on interest to determine the payment principle is going to be the monthly payment minus the interest. So with this, I can determine any period, whatever the period. You know, this become easy. Whatever the period I want, I can let's say I'm on after 300 months. I want to know I'm paying the same monthly payment but I want to know after a 200 month what what is the amount I'm paying on the principal what is the amount I'm paying on interest I can do it it's possible also after 300 months to to sh to determine the present the remaining balance the, the remaining balance look if I want to know after 200 months it's gonna be 260 minus 300 that's gonna be the period and I will be applying the same formula for whatever the period is straightforward and it's easy. So that's all for this video. And for the next video, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna try to help you. That means without Excel, let's say you have a sample calculator, not a financial calculator, and you want to compute uh, the the monthly payment, the remaining balance for any period. We're gonna use a formula to do it. So this will be for the next video. That's all for today. Thank you.